Hey guys, here you may see that I've improved my braking system, emergency braking system, or dump load to two resistors instead of one, which are both connected in parallel. What it means? Uh, one resistor is 10 ohm, and if I would have connected them consequently, like if it would go into one, then into uh, in one, then into another, and then would go back basically to the dump load, then it would have increased the resistance to 20 ohms and would slow the turbine more slowly. However, in this case, this is not the outcome I would want, so I connected, I decided to go with the parallel one. So instead of 10 ohms, which is initial, I will have five, I will have less. But the amount of current actually is doubled and so well it, 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 it it's going to be increased so because the turbine is breaking with the amps so how much amps do you apply on the on it and, and that, that would basically cause the electromagnetic field to, to, to slow it down to slow the wind well down so that is why this thing is more effective the only thing you have to consider is not to burn this thing so don't go down with the resistance too much because Eventually, if you are, for example, uh, for, for my case, it's 22, uh, for, from 22 to 60 volts. That's the working range that I have right now. But eventually, if it, because it's 2000 watt inverter, it can work with 45 till 90 volts. And once, for example, the wind is too strong and it like uh, goes way too high, way over 100 volts. And imagine if you would go, for example, for like some two ohm resistor, resistor in the end, you will end up with 50 amps going shooting into the in, in, into the transistors that actually operate the switching of the dump load, and you will burn them out absolutely. So, if having five, it, like in my setup right now, uh, even if 100 volts, it's 20 amps, and this thing has got the internal um, in, internal breakers that that are. Um, that are designed for 30 amps current current max and in general it's considered to be like 25.5 amps limitation for this inverter so just bear in mind that you don't have to limit that amperage once connecting um yeah how it breaks it will break really really nicely let, let me do the quick trick so this is the protection for example uh let's simulate the situation once the uh, the grid goes off for any reason. I can do this like with very simply with going down with this switch. This is the manual brake. This is the parking brake for the turbine. Don't, don't ever use like it's shortcutting all the three phases that are going out. Don't ever do this on the working turbine. It's it's not a good thing to to break it like this. Instead of you should breaking it with the usage of resistors. Oh, of course you can connect. Uh, outgoing resistors after this, you can do it this way, but this is not my case. This is just just a parking brake. Of course, there is a lightning surge protection and this is the power supply for the inverter itself. So let me switch it off and see how it goes. So you see it rotates right now. It, it, it even like produces some watts, but generally not, not good. Uh, enough uh, voltage for, for the production because the wind is really below three meters per second. So I'm switching it off and you see it's slowing down really, really nicely, up to full stop. It may rotate a little, really a little, because like uh, once the voltage goes down, of course the amperage also goes down, so it cannot like stop completely. But that's a slow, slow break, so to say. Because currently, once the inverter is switched off, the the dump load takes everything, and it's getting not 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 that hot probably because like the voltage was not good, good enough to make them hot. But in general, uh, once you have a heavy wind, they are getting really hot and even red, heavily red if you have a high voltage at that time and if you have a high wind basically. So yeah, once I put it on, put it back on. So I hope the wind is good enough so it starts rotating. It starts picking up speed. Yeah, as you may see, it already it, it goes slightly faster, faster with each with each turn. Yeah, yeah, yes, it does. And eventually, it will get up to some voltage, maybe even to generate some power. Uh, it depends on wind. It not not depend. It doesn't depend on me, as you may guess. But yeah, that's that's how the protection and the uh, and the breaking resistors work. That's the main thing that I wanted to show you. Um, so that's it. If you want to know more about this guy, because it has a lot of secrets inside, just let me know, I will do the video.